Blisters aren't any fun, and if they show up in a really annoying spot, like right on the sole of your foot, then they can make running a really tough experience. Watch on to find out one way that I eliminated blisters. Hey, how's it going? I'm Will from Iron Will Multisport Australia, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlons, multisport, and endurance events and training. When I first started running, I thought blisters were just part of the game. I get little blisters here and there, nothing too major, but you know, annoying. In 2017, I was going to run the City to Surf here in Sydney, Australia, which is a about 14 kilometer sort of fun charity run. And I was gonna run it in a lion dance costume. And I also decided that I was gonna run it in kung fu slippers. I've done a video showing the kung fu slippers before. They are very thin. The run was great. I had a blast and you know, because I'm in costume, I gave so many high fives. Later on though, I had a look at my feet and unfortunately, there were some blisters, some pretty bad ones. One right under my heel, one right under the midfoot, it was, walking was just a painful experience. It probably didn't help that I was acting like I was in a Chinese lion dance costume the whole way and skipping for the entire race. Have you ever had problematic and painful blisters? Let us know in the comments. After eventually getting rid of the blisters from the city to surf, I kept on my running training. I was gonna run a marathon later that year where I was gonna try and set a Guinness World Record in those Kung Fu slippers. And because the marathon was in those Kung Fu slippers and my training was in those Kung Fu slippers, I did get a few little blisters here and there throughout the year. But as I was at the expo for the marathon, the pre sort of sales thing which you walk through to get your race number, I noticed a shop selling special socks that promised no more blisters, guaranteed. I was a bit doubtful of this claim, obviously, but then I was gonna be running a marathon the next day in shoes that I know give me blisters. So I thought, hell, why not try it? And I know it's not good to change things the day before a race, but I figured I have nothing to lose. I'm gonna either get blisters or I'm gonna get these socks and maybe get blisters. So either way, if I don't get blisters, it's a win. On the day of the race, I put on the new socks. They were cool, they were smooth, they were fresh. And then I put on my Kung Fu slippers and went out the door for my 42 kilometer run. Now something must have been working because I didn't get any blisters. The whole 42 kilometers run in shoes with virtually no padding, with really floppy soles, and I didn't get any blisters, even though for most of my training, I got blisters. So what were the socks that I was using? Well, the company was called Steigen. I think it's Steigen, S-T-E-I-G-E-N. And it's an Aussie company founded by Louis Rowan or Louis Rowan. I don't know how to pronounce anything today. He was in the 2006 Commonwealth Games. So the way they work is they use lycra and microfiber nylon and certain patterns of stitching to reduce the amount of moisture and friction within your feet when you're running. Now, since these are made from lycra and microfiber nylon, they sit very tight against your foot, which means that this allows air to flow evenly around your foot and also reduces the amount of air pockets between the actual sock and the foot which means that you don't get those points where there's movement of material against your feet. Steigen is so confident in their no blister guarantee that they actually offer a literal no blister guarantee right there, which means that you can exchange one pair of Steigen socks and get your money back in the case that you do get blisters using Steigen socks. And this is how I got into them. I saw the guarantee and I thought, I'll get one pair for the marathon and you know, I'm most likely gonna get blisters so I can make a claim and get my money back. But secretly, of course, I was hoping that they did work so that I wouldn't get blisters during the marathon and I would actually still be able to walk after the marathon. 42 kilometers running in crappy shoes with basically no sole, loads of sweat, and I couldn't get one bloody blister. Now, just to be clear, I'm not affiliated with these guys in any way, shape, or form. I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I just really believe in their product. And sure, there are other sock companies out there which will provide similar types of socks. But I'm an Aussie, and I like to support Aussie companies. So there are multiple sizes of these socks that you can get. You can start off with the zero length, which is where it comes to kind of below the ankle, which is basically invisible socks. You can get a quarter length, which is what I originally got, which are these ones. They come up to uh, just around the ankle or just above the ankle. The ones that I'm currently wearing, these are your half length. Then you've got your three quarter length, which are these ones, really bright yellow. These will come up to about here on my leg. 
and then you've got your full length which I believe comes up to around the knee and I really think it looks like it's a nice premium product uh, and the packaging is really nice it's got a little hole in it so you can actually feel what the sock feels like uh, well you can feel what lycra and microfiber nylon feels like rip open the pack take the socks out and there's your new pair of shiny very smooth feeling socks now you can google the company or I've left a link in the description box below which links directly to their Australian website which I recommend going to since you get the cheapest price from there and it's free shipping worldwide additionally if you signed up for Running Heroes which is another program which I've used in the past you can actually get yourself another 20% off so I recommend giving this a go as well so additionally additionally for Australia Day which is coming up on the 26th of January here in Australia you can also get a special discount on the Aussie like the green and gold kangaroo flag socks uh, I think they go down to about 13 or something dollars per pair uh, that's Australian dollars and if you get that 20% discount code from Running Heroes you can get a further 20% off the already discounted price so it gets it down to like $11 or something stupid like that since it's ridiculously cheap and I haven't got a pair of Australian running socks yet I ordered two pairs that is two pairs and if I ever need socks for other sporting sort of things like kung fu or cycling or even just walking whatever I reach for my Steigens. Have you ever used Steigens or a similar pair of socks? Leave a comment in the comments section down below. If you want to see triathlon content every week from here in Australia and New Zealand, then hit like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.